Hello Logic Language Learners. Um, welcome back to another video in the A-Level series, which is going to be examining how we answer certain essays. Can I remind you, like I say every time, if you are not specifically studying for A-Level, this video will help you with any exam in French. Uh, and if you're not even studying for an exam, this video will be a fantastic vocab learner for you. Okay, so can I ask you, same as normal, please, in all courtesy, can you subscribe to the channel, uh, even if you're all on Facebook, can you please subscribe to the channel? It really does help me out, uh, and it motivates me, and it keeps the videos free. And can you also please click like if the video is useful? Can you also, by all means, feel free to email me on logiclanguagelearning at gmail.com, so the same address as the, um, as the site, as the channel, at gmail.com, and let me know what you guys think, okay? Uh, or what videos you, you, you would really enjoy, okay, or would find useful. So, this essay is really, really a common theme in, amongst the boards. Um, it's, you know, anything which touches young people and young people's lives and an awareness of, of everything um, is, is, is obviously really popular. Um, so, the exam is, the essay is on mobile phones, or as we say in America, obviously, cell phones. So I'm going to be using the word mobile throughout the uh, video, and I'm referring to cell phones, okay? So those of you who um, join me from the States, and there's a great many of you at the moment, and about seven of whom I'm teaching, uh, can we uh, make sure that's absolutely clear? Finally, um, a little shout out to a Barbara Bettsworth, who's been really encouraging, who is an A-level teacher, uh, uh, in England and uh, to all of her class um, whom are watching this, uh, who are watching this right now, okay? So, off we go. So, question is, selon vous, and as per normal, the question will be written underneath in full, everything will be written out, okay? The title of the essay. So, selon vous, quels sont les avantages et les dangers des portables? Selon vous, quels sont les avantages et les dangers des portables? Okay, so, first point, anything we don't understand about the pronunciation, I always like to use the title to make sure the pronunciation is clear. Les avantages et les dangers, fine, we don't pronounce the R, everything is good there. Make sure there's a plural on the quel if you're asking a what, which question. So, first things first, what do we do with these essays? We work out the structure, we work out the theme. So it's asking us what, according to you, what are the advantages and the dangers of cell phones of mobiles. So, a nice, easy, balanced essay is going to come out of this. It's, it's giving you two strong um, uh, areas, for, against, okay? Now, um, you can do this in one of two ways. Whenever you're giving a for or whenever you're giving an against, you can say, I think that, or I think that, or you can go a little bit more neutrally. You can go, people have said, or studies have said, or some people have said. And then in your, whether it's positive or negative. So you can say, my mother thinks that mobile phones are actually a waste of time. However, I think that they allow me to check French vocabulary when I'm on the bus or something. Whatever, you know, whatever you're saying. Um, so don't always make everything about the I and about the when you're speaking. However, you could be quite um, you could be quite clever with this and you could divide your essay into three. So you could have things that are for, things that are against, and where you stand on it. Yeah, so how it affects you in your life, okay? So for example, many people say that mobile phones are excellent for young people learning da 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 da. However, I can understand that some people use them just for games. I personally, however, do use my mobile phone for whatever. So what is the trick? We look at the word count. Yeah, we look at the word count. We think in terms of phrases and ideas. So person with a verb, talking about somebody else doing a verb. I think that you, da da da, -da like, da 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 da. A basic sentence. We're going to sort of say seven minimum, ten maximum um, in an average sentence. So say you had 250 words, you take off 10 for your introduction, 10 for your conclusion, and then we divide what's left into those 10, okay? And then we divide that amount. So say we had 250, that would take us down to 230. We then 
uh, we're left with 230, we're dividing into three columns, for, against, and your opinion, and then you, um, allowing obviously for, on the other hand, joining words, connectives, connectors, and then you roughly work that out as what you're going to need. So, again, to remind you, you can go with all the inconvenience, or, all the problems, all the positives, and then your opinion, or you can go point by point through all of those, which I think makes for nicer reading and nicer French for contrast. So let's crack on. So uh, I'm going to go through what uh, is the vocabulary of what the exam board has suggested as possibilities, for example, okay? And then we'll talk about what we can say. So according to you, quels sont les avantages et les dangers des portables, okay? Straight away, I would say another word for um, try and use synonyms whenever you can. Use as many words for the, use different words for the same thing. So uh, another word for the dangers would be les avantages et les inconvénients. Yeah, like the fours and the against. Not as risky as les dangers, okay? While we're there, and can I really strongly recommend that you watch the trick on extending your vocabulary, uh, uh, the video I just did, without adding in new words, what have we got to do? We've got to try and make adjectives and nouns and verbs, you know, from the information that we have. So are there any words in that title that you can expand straight away? So avantage could be avantageux, advantageous, okay? Danger, dangereux, okay? Any ideas that make a verb? So there's not a verb to danger, okay? But there's a verb to risk, to pose a threat, to threaten, you know? So any ideas that are going to carry the same weight as that noun. You don't want to always be saying, there is a danger, okay? Il y a un risque, uh, c'est peut-être dangereux que, uh, il y a plusieurs avantages, um, um, c'est positif quand, it's positive when, so think of the ideas in your head, other ways of saying it, and if possible, like I said in the, uh, the video where we use the same word, think on the same word where we can bring in more vocabulary, so if you've got a noun, find the adjective, find the verb, find the adverb, etc. So cracking on. So security reasons, security reasons, les raisons de sécurité, sécurité, be very mindful, et Oh, remember, sécurité with the accent. So every time you write that word, sécurité, sécurité, okay? Um, les raisons de sécurité. Um, uh, the convenience, convenience, okay? Uh, anything we can do there, verbs, ça nous convient, it suits us. Yeah, it makes life easier. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, no, we'll go through, and when I do the proper translation, I'll give you other ideas for it. So, security reasons, les, les, les raisons de sécurité, um, les paramètres de sécurité, les contrôles de sécurité, the security parameters, security controls. Convenience, uh, c'est facile, ça rend la vie plus facile, it makes life easier, ça rend mes devoirs plus facile, it makes my homework easier, whatever you do. Uh, it's convenient for what, okay? Uh, a fashion accessory, accessoire, accessory, de la mode, okay, it's trendy, c'est tendance, um, uh, c'est à la mode, it's fashionable, um, c'est chic, a little bit dated as a word now, okay, um, a fashion accessory, what is fashion talking about, everybody wears them, uh, everybody wears them, everybody has one, tout le monde en a, okay, um, Get in your vocabulary with uh, your grammar with en as opposed to repeating the the noun you know mobiles. It encourages communication, so ça encourage la communication. Remember, I need an article if I've got a noun, or I need a possessive, or I need something. I can't just say communication. Okay, ça facilite la communication. Uh, so communication is the noun. So what can we do with the trick? Is there a verb there? Communicate. Yeah? So that encourages people. À communicate, to communicate, okay? Les gens se communiquent, ou les gens communiquent plus facilement avec leur famille, okay? People communicate more easily with their families, okay? Um, uh, people are more communicative, adjective, les gens sont plus communicatifs, okay? New technology allows access to the internet, etc. Okay? Donc c'est une nouvelle technologie qui permet qui encourage uh, accès à l'internet. Now, to access, you can either have the access, which is accès, avoir accès à, 
or there's a verb which is accéder à, accéder à. I'm really trying to speak in this franglais, half French, half English, very clear in the mouth way to get this new vocabulary in, okay? Donc, accéder uh, à l'internet, okay? Um, if you didn't know how to say access the internet, you can say go online or read websites, whatever you want to do. There's a way of doing it, using your ma mail. If you don't know the word, go around it. Donc, ça me permet um, de, remember it's permettre à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. So, ça me permet, ça te permet, ça nous permet, ça vous permet, that won't pose a problem. Ça lui permet, ça, uh, ça leur permet. So that allows us to access the internet. Ça nous permet d'accéder um, the internet we've talked about. Uh, D'aller en ligne, to go online. De d'écrire les emails, les courriers électroniques, whatever. Health dangers, okay? Danger, santé. We know these words, okay? La santé. Uh, it's dangerous for our health. C'est dangereux pour notre santé. It's not healthy. Ce n'est pas sain. S-A-I-N. Find another way around, okay? Why do we need to find another way around? Because if you're going to be saying two points, so there are those that say it's not healthy. Da -da -da -da. However, I think it's healthy if, we, if you use mobile phones to use fitness applications, for example. It's boring if you say the same word twice, isn't it? Uh, so if you said, there, some people say it's not healthy, you know, it's not good for your health. Il y a certaines personnes qui disent que c'est mauvais pour la santé, but I think it's excellent for your health to be, you know, je pense que c'est excellent pour la santé. It's a bit boring and you, you know. Um, yes, there's a method where you could say it's excellent for it, when you could use a pronoun, but we could use a different style, couldn't we? So we could say it's excellent for your, it's, people say it's not very good for your health, but, with radio wave, microwaves, we'll talk about all of that, but it's healthy, adjective, to be able to use fitness applications or whatever, okay? So, il y a certaines personnes qui disent que les portables sont mauvais pour la santé, mais par contre, on the other hand, à mon avis, or other people, d'autres personnes, par contre, d'autres personnes disent que c'est plus sain, S-A-I-N, healthy, euh, de pouvoir utiliser ou de pouvoir télécharger, download, télécharger les applications de bien-être, de fitness, ok? We do say fitness in French, however, because it's an anglicism, it's, it's an English word, maybe try and find another way. Or I don't know, maybe it would show that you, as long as you didn't do it in a way that suggested you didn't have a French word. Increase in crime, ok? So, increase, do you know the word for increase? Augmentation. So, increase is a noun. Do we know to increase? Augmenter. Crime, le, le crime, les niveaux de crime. So, on a social level, what was the trick we learned the other day? To the level social. Au niveau social, or socialement, or d'un point de vue social. Okay? What can we show off when we have an al? We try and find a masculine noun. So, there are several social problems. Il y a plusieurs problèmes sociaux. So, your one, two, three columns, or your one and two columns, you could divide those into areas. So you could then go first, there's the physical reasons, four against, four against. Then there's the social, so we could say, now if we were to address the, 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 um, the social problems, you know, si on voulait adresser les problèmes sociaux, yeah, because it's masculine, ma masculine plural. Uh, good. Uh, in increase in crimes, um, that means, c'est-à-dire les portables uh, volés. Uh, the cost of calls, le coût des appels, le prix, bills, les factures, it costs a lot, ça coûte cher, okay? So naturally in English, if you start thinking around what you're trying to say to get your point across, you'll naturally in English use different, you know, it costs a lot, bills are expensive, we have to pay more. I mean, these are all different verbs, different styles of saying the same point. So just remember you can do that in your French. Ça coûte, yes, yeah, ça coûte plus, um, ça coûte plus cher, uh, ça nous coûte uh, la peau du cul, <laughs> it means an arm and a leg, the skin of your bottom, but we won't say that in an exam. Um, c'est exorbitant, c'est incroyablement cher. Um, uh, good. Uh, it's a cause of road accidents. This is true because people are using it. Um, 
les accidents de voiture euh, parce que des gens euh, ils conduisent whilst lorsqu'ils utilisent leur portable which is very dangerous qui est très